Hey everybody, welcome to our Ellis home where we pretty much just share anything about our life, lifestyle, home, slash, whatever you want to call it, they can help you out in life. Um, this video is about how I personally quit snoring, and snoring is boring, so I'll try not to take up much of your time, let me get straight to the point. Um, snoring is pretty much just caused from like some type of tissue usually in your throat or sinuses somewhere of just air trying to escape because your air passage isn't completely open and I didn't realize my snoring was a huge problem until I got married and it was driving my wife nuts so then she would wake me up and then that would drive me nuts we were both working at the time we weren't getting enough sleep and I seen a commercial for Z Quiet and I decided to try it out and I do want to say I've tried several mouthpieces out since then you can see them on my uh, playlist snoring mouthpieces if you subscribe to my channel our channel but uh, anyways, the first one I tried was called Z Quiet, and it did actually stop my snoring. We were pretty shocked and happy, but the way it works is um, it holds your lower jaw out past your upper jaw, which is supposed to keep your ear passage open because your jaw, your whole muscles in your jaw and everything can relax and it just falls back down and, and causes you to snore. And it worked really good for me. The reason I like Z Quiet is because it's got the living hinge technology with it which they have a patent for which I think separates them from other mouthpieces some of the other mouthpieces I tried they don't have the hinge because they're not allowed to because they don't have the patent for it yada yada but my teeth would actually pop up either the bottom jaw or upper jaw and one of them would slide over the mouthpiece and obviously it wasn't holding my lower jaw out so that defeated the purpose of the mouthpiece I figured out that's why Z Quiet worked so good for me and I tend to sleep with my mouth open quite a bit, especially with the mouthpiece. So the Living Hinge technology just allowed me to open my mouth and breathe more. And some of the other mouthpieces are just outrageous. But uh, anyway, Z Quiet uh, helped stop my snoring. Um, the only time it does not is when I'm on my back with my face straight up and down because that's more pressure on the mouthpiece with my lower jaw. So if you're a back sleeper, um, you might have to go with a stronger mouthpiece like Snorer X, which actually holds your mouth open, but it's really strong and adjustable so it can really push your lower jaw out. So Snorer X is a decent option for uh, back snores. With that being said, if you do snore, I did not know at first that it can be a sign of sleep apnea. I didn't even know what sleep apnea was. I never took it serious or anything. I started making these videos and just for kicks, I decided to go get a sleep test done. So I was like, oh, I can make a YouTube video about it. People love it. But I did go get a sleep test done. Um, it was very easy. I just scheduled it for after work because I knew I'd be sleepy. I didn't have to work the next day. So I was able to go. I did an in-clinic sleep study. I was able to go in. <coughs> they hook all kinds of wires and stuff up to you, so it can be really uncomfortable. And I think... That's one of the keys is I think you should schedule it for after work or make sure you're going to be sleepy, which is why I did that. But anyways, I was extremely tired and sleepy from work, so they hooked all the wires and stuff up to me and it was really weird. And I passed out right away because I was so tired. But uh, anyways, I was pretty surprised to find out that I did have moderate sleep apnea, so I really don't use my Z Quiet anymore. I only use it if we travel or like... Yesterday my wife cleaned my CPAP machine and the filter hadn't dried yet so I couldn't use it. I popped my Z Quiet in and it works. It doesn't work as good as uh, CPAP. But uh, anyways, if you snore, um, you might try the Z Quiet mouthpiece or the Snorer X. Those are the only two I recommend. And just see if it stops your snoring. And if it does, great. And if it does, um, make sure you feel refreshed. Like if you snore and you don't get refreshing sleep, then it could be a sign of sleep apnea. So if you try one of the mouthpieces and you're still not feeling refreshed, then go get a sleep study done. Or if you want, if you snore at all, just go get a sleep study done because mine was covered by health insurance. I called ahead of time and made sure it was covered by health insurance. So there's nothing to lose. Snoring is one of the most important parts of your health. Uh, I can't recommend it enough. Um, just go get a sleep study done if you snore. I did. It surprised me. And just by coincidence, it has completely changed my life. Because that leads me to the number one thing that made me quit snoring was a CPAP machine. Yes, the dreaded CPAP machine. Um, 
I am going to have to go into my bedroom where the CPAP machine actually is and I'll show you how how it works and everything. It's it's really not what I thought it was going to be. Um, like I said, I'm always so tired from work anyways. I put the, I, I use a full face mask and I just passed out the first night and I was just completely amazed at how refreshed I felt the next morning after sleeping with the CPAP machine. I was just, I don't even know how many years I've had sleep apnea, but it has completely changed my life. I can't recommend it enough. It's worth it. It blows these weird mouthpieces out of the water. I don't even like the mouthpieces anymore, although I don't mind Z-Quiet. With that being said, the mouthpieces, if you do use one, it's going to be uncomfortable no matter what. Z-Quiet was extremely uncomfortable the first night I used it because it, obviously it's holding your lower jaw out. They're not going to be comfortable. Any mouthpiece you try is going to take some time to get used to. All I can say is if you do try the different mouthpieces out, there's a lot of them now because they do actually work so and everybody wants to make money let's be honest um, they're gonna pedal mouthpieces and, and promote them as much as they can the only one I really dislike is Zypa because they want to give me a refund and it holds your tongue down and that's one of their selling points and it made me gag and I just don't like the way that they don't respond to people when they want a refund but with that being said I'm sure it works for some people it didn't work for me but uh, back to the great subject how I quit snoring is tried Z Quiet, it worked great, but I didn't even realize at the time that I wasn't getting a refreshing sleep even from Z Quiet, even though I was getting more refreshed sleep. My wife was a lot happier, she didn't slap me in the middle of the night to wake me up. With that being said, when I did go get a sleep study done just for kicks, I didn't know, but if you snore you should go get one done. I was diagnosed with mild sleep apnea. They told me go get a CPAP machine the place I went to to get one had it all, they set it all up for me, they let me try different face masks on. I wanted the full face mask because I know that I breathe through my mouth a lot when I'm sleeping. And it's been great for me, I can't say enough about it. Go get a sleep study done. CPAP is easy to get used to, it was very easy for me to get used to. And I'm going to go show you my CPAP machine, how it works and everything. Hey everybody, this is my personal review of my Phelps Respironics CPAP machine. Before I get to that, I just want to make sure that you understand that I snored, I went and got a sleep study done, it was covered by health insurance, they diagnosed me with moderate sleep apnea, they set up everything I needed for the CPAP machine ahead of time, the, the sleep specialist did, or the doctor, one of the two, and they sent those settings over to the CPAP supply. When I went there, they know how to run all their equipment, and they automatically put the settings in for me. Um, I've got some notes here so I don't get off track. When I got to the CPAP supply, they already knew how to put the settings in the machine and everything, so they showed me how to run the machine and everything, and they just had me try on different masks to find out which one was more comfortable to me. I'll get to the mask towards the end of the video. I just wanted to know, wanted you to know what led me up to getting the CPAP machine. And, uh... I did choose a uh, Philips Respironics when I was there. Um, that was the main machine that they used, so that's what led me to getting this one. With that being said, um, I can't show you the true unboxing, but when we did bring it home, all these hoses and everything were disconnected. Everything was um, pretty much apart. Well, everything was together except for this tank. Um, the CPAP supply, they'll, if you go to the CPAP supply, they'll help you set everything up, so it was pretty much like this. When you first get it home, you have to wash the mask, the hose, and this uh, tank reservoir, because mine actually has a built-in humidifier, which comes in especially handy since we live in uh, Wyoming, the climate's really dry here. So when we did get it home, we washed the stuff I told you with uh, antibacterial dish soap, let those dry. Then after that's done, all you have to do is fill the reservoir up to this fill line with, uh, I use distilled water, I don't think you're supposed to use mineral water, I just keep it here underneath the table where I have it, right beside my bed. I just wanted to film it right beside where I use it to show you how easy it is, so. After all the cleaning's done, I can pretty much walk you through what I do every night. I usually come in here at some point in the evening and, uh, fill the reservoir up ahead of time and get my work clothes out and get those ready because I don't want to wake our baby up because she sleeps in the same room with us still. And uh, so I fill the reservoir up and 
we did have to connect all this stuff. It's really easy. You don't have to worry about any of this. Everything just pops into place. You can see how easy that is. Um, it's pretty, it's designed to just click into place. So that's all I did to hook it up. And it was already set up before I brought it home at the CPAP supply. They already have all the settings in. So all I do at night, I'll keep it off first. All I had to do when I got it home was clean it, hook all that up, put the water in. It was ready before I even went to bed. When I do lay down every night, after the water's already in there, all I have to do is hit the power button. And it's up to the person. But after you hit the power button, see you can hear that, how loud it is. And that's the air pressure blowing. That's what CPAP stands for, is continuous positive airway pressure. It just keeps your airway open while you sleep. That keeps you from snoring, because snoring is the sound of the air trying to escape. And with that being said, it does more than get rid of your snoring. It keeps your airways open so you're actually getting more oxygen. So I could tell a huge difference after the first night that I used my CPAP. I just felt extremely refreshed. And you can tell as noisy as that is. When I put it up to my face, it completely goes away. Let me get back to this. 6.0 is the pressure of air that it pushes down your lungs to keep them open. That's up to the doctor to decide. After you turn it on, um, actually I put the face mask on first, then I turn it on, but it'd be kind of hard to talk with that on. <coughs> That's common sense. So after I turn it on, there's a picture of a ramp here on this button. You just hit the ramp button. It's called that because it ramps down the pressure to 4.0, and that lasts for a half hour. It slowly builds up the pressure during that half hour and gives you a chance to fall asleep before it ramps up to the 6.0 air pressure. And that's pretty much it. After I ramp it down, I fall asleep. I've never had any trouble with it. I work pretty hard for a living, so I don't have any trouble falling asleep with it on. Um, I'm going to switch it over to my wife here and let her explain the filter maintenance real quick. Alright. So yes, you do actually have to um, take care of your filters in here because they do get um, pretty dirty, which is kind of surprising. Um, I was kind of surprised when I changed it first. Um, it is this little blue guy right here. Um, this blue filter, I believe you replace it once a month or like every six months I'd have to double check but this little light blue one right here this is your ultra fine filter and you actually replace this one every two weeks um, and that's just something that you know you can go to the place where you get your um, CPAP machine and they usually I got like a whole bunch of them when I was there um, the last time but it's really easy to actually put this back on here. Um, once you put a new filter on, it all just kind of snaps together. And you just kind of make sure that it's all nice and snug in there. Um, definitely, if you are switching out your filter, you can also just um, rinse off this dark blue one. Um, I would just recommend like letting it air dry for a whole day. Because it does take quite a while for it to dry out because um, you definitely don't want it to be damp or even wet when you put it back in the machine because obviously that could cause mold and we don't need any of that. But it's super simple. You just slide it right back in here. And that is it as far as the filters go. And you can see a little memory card poking out there. which uh, That actually tracks how many hours you sleep every night and stuff. And uh, that can be pretty important. Uh, they just want to make sure you're using it, especially if it's covered by uh, health insurance. The health insurance company wants to verify that you're actually using it since they're paying for it. And uh, another side note on that, I'm a CDL truck driver, so I actually have to take that little card and get a printout, um, usually from the CPAP supply, I believe, and take that to the doctor. I don't know. I think the doctor can get a printout also. Anyways, you can call and ask ahead of time, but I have to take that and get an actual printout when I go for my DOT physical for a CDL driver, but I am still actually allowed to drive, even though I have sleep apnea, and as long as I use this machine, I'm still allowed to drive. So, with that being said, I'm going to hand the camera back to my, my, my wife real quick, and I am going to demonstrate my CPAP mask. 
Uh, as you can see, this hose is really long. It, it reaches like well over halfway across my bed. Uh, I don't touch and turn very much during the night. And this band, this thing probably looks really uncomfortable. But this band's extremely lightweight. It's pretty flexible. That band itself is uh, got some elasticity. It's got a bunch of Velcro to adjust. All you do is slip it on. These latches are designed to pop in and out really easy, and you can adjust it with the Velcro straps. It's all a matter of experimentation. You see my mask popped off, but all this stuff just pops on and off really easy. It's extremely easy to use. Um, I was a little dismayed at first. I thought it was going to be uncomfortable. My wife said I looked like Bane from the Batman movie. But uh, other than that, other than the filter maintenance, daily maintenance, you have to wash this hose. You can pop this off and wash this. And the reservoir that the water goes in, you want to wash that every day with just... Um, I just use uh, antibacterial dish soap, let it air dry. My wife usually takes care of that while I'm at work. That way I just pop everything back into place when I get home. And that's pretty much it. It's an extremely easy machine to use. I definitely recommend getting the one with the built-in humidifier. Depending on where you live, it's pretty dry here. Like if you live somewhere by the ocean, it might be more humid there, more moisture in the air. Maybe you don't need a uh, humidifier, whatever the case. But uh, one thing I do want to say is I was very surprised. I was skeptical. I didn't take it serious at first. But my first night after I used the CPAP machine, I couldn't believe how refreshed I felt. And even now, I just it builds up over time, just the quality of sleep that I get. Being a food servi service delivery driver, sometimes I only get like five hours of sleep, even though I try hard to get my sleep in. And uh, this thing's just completely changed my life as far as the quality of sleep and I can just concentrate a lot better during the day I don't feel as sluggish or sleepy and I just feel completely better after not having one for years and that's that about sums it up thanks